And I say, let the debate begin. Uh-oh, come on. Let me call and pull them up. I'll pick them up real quick like anybody. One second, guys. At this time, we're going to start. I've decided to do everything in ABC order that was easy for me to remember. So here we go. In terms of ABC order, we're going to start with Adrian Rivers with his two minutes. Once he finishes, we're going to go straight into Jeremy Stone with his two minutes, and it's going to be followed by Edgar T with his two minutes. Good. Hello everyone. Hello. I am Adrian Rivers and I uh, am running for city council at large. Very excited to be here tonight. Uh, one of my mission and my main goal and my mission in anything in life uh, is I'm on a mission of hope. I'm on a mission to provide hope to people. I'm on a provision of a mission to provide hope to people who are hopeless. Uh, hope is an acronym for help opportunity, partnership, and when you put those three things together, everyone wins. I was first introduced to the idea of hope as a young child. My earliest memory uh, was about three years old. I grew up in a single parent home, and I remember my mom working at Levi's and also uh, sitting on crates. And that is my earliest, and that is my earliest memory of hope, but it's in that moment that she was undying. She was always supportive. She was always working. She was always supplying all of our needs. My next, uh, the next interest of hope for me is going to be when I was adopted at six years old. She got married, and it was in that moment that I recognized that I was not a fatherless child, but I had an opportunity to be loved, to receive love, and to learn love. Well, at about 14 or 15, I was introduced to my biological uh, family, and that kind of derailed me as a child. He railed me as a child, and I no longer knew exactly what my identity would be. I was derailed, but I was introduced to hope again by Virginia Crowell, by Percy Chastain, uh, by people like Kirk Kimbrough, who decided that I could be better than what I was. I was at the alternative school. You may not can tell, but I was at the alternative <laughs> school. And at the alternative school is where I learned how to be productive. <clears throat> Just because a kid is at the, at the alternative school doesn't mean that they can't be productive. I graduated from Valdosta. I graduated from Valdosta State University. I graduated with my master's as well. So I'm here, Adrian Rivers, City Council of Law. Thank you. Thank you. 